Hey guys, it's Brutto here. Welcome back to Farming Summer 2019. Here we are for another episode of our season series. We are in early winter, 7 o'clock in the morning, and it is very, very dark. Um, quite dark, in fact. Let's jump in our um, pickup truck. Let me just adjust my... There you go, adjust my sound in my headset so it's not too loud. I want to have a look at these fields. Um, let's pop the time up. So it's minus one degrees. Um, the crops are currently two degrees. Which if we have a look um, in here with our seed resistance, I think we've got canola planted. Um, so it's got high frost resistance at the moment. I think it's canola. Is it canola? Should be canola. Yeah, so we're lucky we've got high frost resistance at the moment. So it shouldn't... Um, Shouldn't have any dramas with it growing. I don't know if it's going to grow quick enough though. Um, crops are 31% wet. We did have a bit of rain and stuff um, overnight. So I've skipped through a fair bit of time since last episode, but I wanted to make sure that we're not sort of sitting around too much doing nothing. Um, a few people have also suggested that we get a female cow. And you can see right there, we now have a female cow in here, which I've had which I've had um, for a few days in seasons. So we've got the Ayrshire female. She is with calf or with child, whatever you want to call it. Um, 0 0.7 years and we'll have a baby calf. So these two guys, one of these um, lucky chappies um, did the deed. And um, we should have a calf pretty soon. So these guys are now worth 1,600 each. So that's 500 each. Not making a lot of money out of them, but hopefully once the um, health goes up, it'll be a little bit better. Um, the other thing is, when we come through with the um, the winter thing, it says they're going to start eating more in winter time. So we need to make sure we have enough food in here. And you can see here, this pen requires 9,233 litres of food to feed its animals for the next year. Now, we have uh, plenty of total mixed ration. We have plenty available too. We head down in the pitch black dark to here. Which I don't know why our trailer's on its side. Um, in here, we jump up. We've got heaps in here. We've got heaps of hay bales, heaps of straw bales, and we've got still got a few silage bales. This one should be silage by now. It is. It's beautiful. That's good. So, um, what I think I want to do straight away is possibly come into here. Let's grab some more some more lights and stuff because we can barely see a thing. Let's put in a couple of lights sort of around the farm here somewhere. Especially for this this time of the year so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, something like that. So that sort of gives us a fair bit of light. I don't want to have too much light up here with um, the cows, because they obviously need to sleep. But if we can put in maybe just a few lights, like that, will give us a little bit more that we can actually see. Um, now, if we look at our grass, we do have a fair bit of grass growth up here. So I was thinking we could possibly cut some grass up here. I know it's wet. It's going to be wet grass, but we can still cut that and then we can turn that into silage bales so I thought that might be what we, we do today just make some silage bales and um, sort of go from there so let's bump our speed up times 30 try and get the sun up because it's quite dark at the moment um, didn't want this guy, I wanted the other one Let's back away again it's not snowing yet, but I don't I don't think it's gonna be long before it's gonna start snowing, so might as well get this done before snow comes in. Look at now. So no, there's no snow around Thursday rain, but it doesn't say anything about snow, so I guess we'll have to wait and see if it does actually snow or not. Um, let's unfold this guy. It's gonna be a little bit hard to be able to see 
where we're going, I suppose. But I want to start course recording as well, so I can record us mowing this course so we can come back later but it needs to be cut and I can be doing other stuff while we have a tractor over here cutting the grass. It'll be a lot easier than me actually you know, having to come to do it each time. I know you guys don't want to see me cutting grass all the time as well. I know you've seen it a fair few times already so I don't want to bore you guys too much but this is a lot of grass that we can turn into silage bales. Whether we sell them or keep them, um, I haven't really decided yet, but it's going to bring in a little bit of money for us. You can see we're back up to about 90,000. We were just a bit over 90,000. Um, I've emptied, emptied our silo out of all the crops we got when we purchased this farm. So we now have no crops left. Everything is sold completely empty, so now we've got to rely on our sort of our next next lot of harvest to bring in some more money for us. I do want to paint this too and get rid of these bushes eventually. Should give us a bit more room for us to be able to, to mow and that sort of thing. So try and get as much of this grass as we can. Not going to be able to get all of it but we should be able to get a fair bit. What I might do is turn around here we'll need to be careful of um, later on because we are driving on the field now so we don't want to be driving on the field or mowing while we're at a certain stage of crop growth because it will destroy the crop as we know just a little bit of grass there, it doesn't matter too much so it's plenty plenty area here for us to to cut as I said this guy's starting to struggle uphill a little bit down. So we're going to have to do a completely different course for uh, wind rowing and stuff I think because I don't want to be wind rowing like this. It'll make things hard to, hard to pick up the grass and that sort of thing. So yeah the plan for this episode will be just to cut this grass, make some bales, uh, possibly sell some bales, we'll see how we go. Um, try and get some money back in our account because we are quite low on funds as you guys can see um, not you know crazy low on funds but low enough to um, to want to be able to get some extra silage bales and hopefully make some decent money out of them we do have I said five bales I think left over it's not like we're desperate to have silage bales made and keep them. Uh, we've got plenty to sort of keep our animals fed at this point in time. We only need 9,000 litres, as I said before, so we've got more than 9,000 litres of silage bales, but we're using total mix ration at the moment anyway. So we should be, um, should be good as far as feed goes to get us through winter and to the start of the next year. So I want to stay off this field as much as I can. I don't want to be driving over it. So we're probably going to get little random spots of that we're going to miss because of the way the, the ground is sort of really slopes up and down and all over the place up here. It's not going to be perfect, but see, we're going to get a very good amount of grass out of this. Um, and then, obviously next season, when we're sort of heading towards summer, we'll possibly turn this whole thing here into hay, which should be quite good. Um, we can get a hay loft as well, so we don't need to make them all into bales. We can use a hay loft, but I think for, for seasons, we're trying to be a little bit more realistic. I think us sort of using a hay loft isn't quite as realistic, I don't think. So I feel like um, I feel like yeah we should just stick with bales. It's not cutting very well, is it? Much rather sort of 
um, stick with bales and sort of keep it a little bit more realistic. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. I think my microphone's loud enough without me sneezing into it. So get these little bits done. We don't really need to do these bits, but it's all it's all extra grass, all extra income. So it really can't hurt. Right, so I want to get the field cut here too, but I, or next to the field, but I don't want to be driving over wires and not cutting anything. I think it was though. Make sure we don't have any crops on when we're going to mow. Probably should have went around the field first. I wanted to redo this whole course, I would say. Let's um, let's, let's just stop it because that's probably not ideal. Probably need to just use um, the mower that goes on the front of the tractor. It'll be a lot easier, I think. Instead of using the side one, I don't really like the side one, but I got it because it, I think it was cheaper and it's a little bit wider too, but it's probably not ideal. Alright, so we could possibly turn this field into a grass field too, but I know a lot of you guys wouldn't be keen on that idea, and I think it's such a big field for crops. Like the money from our say canola or soybeans or something would far out way uh, the grass and stuff we would get still think that other field over there just above our cow pen would be probably the most ideal one for us to turn into a grass field there's a few weed spots here that isn't actually growing grass we sort of need to um, repaint those Alright, so as I said, I know this is probably boring for you guys, but I don't really want to go do any time lapse. I know if you guys have said do time lapse, so you guys have said don't do time lapse, but so with it being seasons of being more realistic, I sort of want to keep you guys in here and showing you guys everything I do. The only time I'm not going to have you guys here is when I'm sort of just fast forwarding through the days so and there's nothing sort of going on. There's no point in me sitting here, you know, raving on while I'm fast forwarding. You guys really aren't seeing me do anything, so. Still trying to get um, a microphone into the right sort of spot for you guys. I think the last few um, episodes, I don't know if I was too loud or I just think the microphone was maybe up too high. Not quite sure. It was. I said it was perfect before um, I went to my local computer shop and we did the, all the upgrades to Windows 10 and that sort of thing now my microphone settings are all over the shop again. It's a little bit frustrating but hopefully it's uh, not too bad for you guys. Alright so not much left. So you can see how dark the grass is. It's definitely wet grass. It's not grass as the dry grass. So at this point in time if we were to come through and tether it we could tether it and turn it into dry grass but then we'd have to let it sit and dry naturally for it to become hay and I think this time of year that's probably not going to happen actually no that's a little bit a little couple of pluses here and here but what's that yeah, late in the afternoon and stuff it's not going to dry so we're better off coming out and cutting it first thing in the morning and then tethering and hoping it's going to dry if you want to make some more hay. I'm not saying winter you can't make hay, it'll probably still dry out. No, it's reasonably cool, but this time of day it's got a little bit of sun on it, so even with a little, like a low temperature we're sitting at now, which is zero degrees, absolutely freezing, um, it'll still dry with the sun, the sun sort of beating down on it. I'm going 
going to keep our speed at times 30. So every two seconds will be one in-game minute. Try and get through this day and see how we go. If it does happen to start raining or anything, all the forecast changes saying it's going to start raining, I definitely will need to slow the time right down, otherwise we'll lose all this grass. So I think once we finish doing this, we might look at this um, mower and we might even get rid of it and get that front front mower. But I think that's going to be better for us in the long run. Being able to mow a little bit easier. So once I've collected all this grass, I might come through with that painting tool as well, as I said, and get rid of some of the bushes and stuff that are around. Um, I don't know if I attach the mower, that front mower, to this and put the wider windrow on the back, because I think the windrow is 8 metres and the front mower is only like 3 metres, if it'll join a couple of strips together. Then we can't, we don't really want to do that. Especially if we're trying to, to cut for hay for, um, anyway, so if I can spit out hay without trying not to cough. Get all that cut as good as we can. That'll do. So now we will need to grab our drawer out, which is just over here. Slot this guy away. See, I've washed all of our equipment. Get it ready, keep it nice and tidy. Um, I haven't looked at like the, the plough or anything as yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to even use the plough winter time because we're really not going to be doing too much as far as um, doing stuff while it's winter. We may have to use it, especially when we need to go and harvest. Um, our couple of fields over there, I don't know how they're going to go. Guess we'll just have to wait and play it by ear when it does happen to start snowing, if it does start snowing and see how much it really affects the vehicles. Um, I know it does make the ground slippery and it can cause some issues, but I'm not quite sure exactly like how bad it does actually affect us. So let's start windrowing all this, get all this grass together, we can start making some silage bales. It's one degree now, so temperature's increasing very, very slowly, only by a little bit. Um, for me at the moment in Australia, we're still in winter at the moment. You guys obviously over in America are in summertime. Um, where I work at the moment is... I'd say sort of inland a little bit, um, an hour and a bit inland from me, which means it is a little bit cooler um, this time of year. I know some mornings what I've gotten up to go to work, I um, usually go up about half past five, five, half past five and leave just before six to head to work um, from the hotel. Some mornings it's one degree, some mornings it's two degrees, it is bloody cold, so yeah, it's um, surprisingly for somewhere like Australia which most of you guys would assume is hot all the time we do get pretty bloody cold too where I am doesn't snow though so we um don't have a lot of areas in Australia that do actually snow I don't think um, we do have obviously areas that do snow we do have snow fields and that sort of stuff but we don't I guess we don't have as many areas over here as you guys do in the States that where it does actually snow. Um, and I've never I've never been to the snow yet um, in my lifetime, so I've never seen snow. Um, one thing I'd like to do, put it on the bucket list, um, head down to the snow one year, uh, one season, and try my hand at either skiing or snowboarding. I probably will suck at both. But, um, still like to give it a crack see how I went 
Alright, so still got plenty of wind rowing to do. I think we're going to get a good amount of um, silage bales out of all of this. It's a fair amount of grass that we've cut and it was pretty sure it was like the stage 3 as far as growth goes so we should get a decent amount. Let's see all these bushes here. We need to get rid of all of this and turn it all into grass. Let's have a quick look at our cows, because we've been fast forwarding a little bit of time. Um, still all pretty good, both 1.3 years old, Got a little bit of weight to them. I don't know what the ideal time to sell them is, um, you guys might have already let me know in the comment section in my previous uh, videos. Um, as you guys know I sort of have to record, um, let's say 4, 5, maybe even 6 episodes in advance of where you guys could be at this point in time um, due to the fact that I work away I work away for a week and I'm home for a week so when I'm away I need to have videos uploading even though I'm not home so I sort of when I'm away for a week I'm working when I'm at home for a week technically still working because I'm still doing so much YouTube stuff it's not funny so yeah, you guys might be a little bit behind of where I currently am but you may have already commented to let me know what the best age is and weight is for the cows. That ground's really weird where I run over it with a mower. Maybe that's just coincidence but it looks quite strange. Right, keep going. I haven't got too much left I don't think. Two or three more full runs. I think we should be done. If we can Line up our wind rower probably. I don't really like this wind rower. I always get it because it's cheap, but I really don't like it. I prefer the, the next one up, like the bigger one. I just feel like it's um, much easier to use, much easier for me to maximise like the width and that sort of stuff. So let me know if you guys are still here watching. I know it's quite boring. Let me know what you think um, as far as how many bales we're going to get. I'm thinking maybe about five from a little bit of grass. I don't know where, I can't remember where we got the five bales from up the other field, I think. I reckon we might get, um, let's say, say 15 bales. Let's go 15. Probably won't get anywhere near it, but let's say 15 bales and we'll see. Alright, so one more run down here then probably another run back up. Here I am missing bits and pieces again. Um, so I know I've mentioned this already bef before but plenty of people are trying to tell me to get rid of these tractors because they're, you know, just a rebranded tractor of another brand. Um, I do know that. Um, but honestly, I love John Deere tractors. The majority of you guys that watch my videos love John Deere tractors as much as I do, so... I know they're rebranded. They're not official John Deere tractors. But uh, we're not getting rid of them. We're gonna keep them. I said anything that's painted green and yellow John Deere, I'll use, even if it isn't an official John Deere tractor. They're still by far my favorite tractors anyway. One more little strip, um, and I know all those trees we did cut down with that uh, machine. We could have sold as well and made a bit of money, but as I said before, I hate—I just hate doing forestry stuff. I really do. Like I tried doing a time lapse forestry series, and just I got bored. I'm not a fan of forestry stuff. Um, a lot of people love it. I don't. As far as FS19 goes, if there was a you know, a forestry simulator similar to FS19 that was a bit more in-depth as far as forestry goes. I'd love it. I honestly would. But just with it being what put inside farming sim, I'm not a massive fan. Alright, so let's fail it back into the baler. Let's pick the baler up. Start making some 
salvage bales. I did unfold it, I thought. Maybe I folded it instead of unfolding it. So we've got zero percent, so that's good. Everything we get here is gonna be straight grass bales turned into silage bales. As you can see we've got plenty of grass already, 31% just from that little strip. Don't have access to that land, have access to a little bit of it. So crops over there are still growing. I wish these lights did turn off though at a certain time, but they don't, they just stay on the whole time. Just chewing power. I don't know if um, it's like an upkeep amount of those lights either. Um, let's have a quick look. Scroll all the way down the bottom here. Um, actually, it doesn't say. Might have to go into here. No, it doesn't say. That's a shame. Much better if it actually gave us. Yeah, it said, you know, $50 per day per light or something. Sort of covers our electricity and everything. Right, so that's one bale, 14 to go. If I guessed right, that is. So it's going to be quite slow driving up the field here because of how steep it is. Maybe 15 bales was getting too excited. Then again, that wasn't we go very far, did we? That's a bale already. So we start heading this way. We start to pick up speed. The bale will increase a lot quicker. Might even be full before that last one's finished wrapping. There you go, so that's two. They're going to roll. I don't know where the other one ended up. Walk down there near the down here near the shed. There, bales all the way down there. It's rolled down the hill. That one's going to end up wherever it wants to go. Another one. He's going to take off down the hill, chase his mate. So that's four bales. There's a good chance we're going to get 15. There's a good chance we're going to get more than 15. Slow it right down. There we go. I don't want to go too far and leave bits of grass behind. I did see um, on a TV program too, over here, there was this little bailing machine that I've seen advertised um, it was a program on a weekend I think which guys did a whole lot of farming stuff like drove a whole lot of farming tractors and compared them and all that sort of stuff and this lady had just mowed her grass technically like a normal yard it was and mowed her grass um, I think it might have been like a little ride on and managed to be able to windrow the grass as well at the same time so it was all in rows. Then she had this little little baler that was sort of a walk behind baler, so like a push baler. Obviously it was motorised so she didn't have to push, but it was sort of a self-propelled walk behind baler. And um, she was making bales out of like just the smallest amount of grass. It was actually really, really cool. Never seen anything like it before, but it was um, Certainly something that I think would come in handy for like a smaller farm, I suppose. It's only got a few a few animals, not a massive amount of animals, so it was it's quite cool to see how it actually worked. Um, it's quite dark at the moment, which isn't good. It is uh, winter, so it does get darker earlier. And it takes a fair while for it to for the sun to rise as well in winter time, so Part of the Seasons mod, which they've implemented, which is really, really cool. As I said, making things far more realistic than it is in the general FS19. As I said in previous videos, this whole Seasons mod should not be a mod. This should be part of the standard farming simulator game from 2021 onwards. Like these guys from Realism um, US modding 
they should be part of the FS19 you know, design team. They've done a bloody amazing job and they need to be rewarded for it. And I mean, if giants don't employ them to help, you know, with designing the next game, 2021 or even you know, 2023, I think they're stupid, honestly. Um, they really, really should be. These guys have done an amazing job. And um, this should be in the base game, so they need to utilize utilize the models that they've got in the community to help you know, continue to improve the game in the future. But this season's mod will increase the lifespan of FS19 by a huge amount. Like a lot of people play FS19 and get bored um, really, really quickly, especially without mods. But for this, if this was in the vanilla game, like those of you who are on the PS4 or P uh, PS4 or Xbox, would definitely play the game for longer than what you probably do now because you get bored. So that's just my opinion. I know a lot of you guys probably feel the same way, like this should be a standard thing. Absolutely standard. I've lost count of how many bales we've got. So I did guess 15. I don't know what you guys have guessed, but hopefully you guys have put it in the comments section what you thought and before I actually finished, not after I finished. Alright, I do apologise how dark it is, but I think it'll make for a pretty cool screenshot. Screenshot for our thumbnail. Alright, so we'll get this done. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to sell some of these bales. We're going to have to wait. We can't go and sell them right now. We're going to have to wait a few days for them to turn into silage bales, of course. So, we'll come and collect them. And we have to leave them until, say, mid-winter. It's got to be, I think it's two in-game days. Before it'll actually turn into a silage bale. So we could always collect them now, or we can just leave them where they are and come back and collect them once they turn into silage bales. We don't have to pick them up right now. I don't know if they'll actually turn into silage bales with them sitting on the trailer. It might be, you know, a... Um, I don't know, the conflict, conflict of mods, I suppose. There's another one that's going to take off down the hill pretty quick, I think. It's going to go flying down that hill. God knows where he's going to end up. Oh, he's tumbling. He's not just rolling, he's tumbling. In real life, that would probably damage the, um, the rat on the bale, too. Right, I don't know how many bales we've got. Press F4, we still can't really see. We should be able to have a look. In the stats menu, maybe? say we've got more than 15 though, like there's plenty of bales. Let's look at the grass behind. A bit too eager. Bit too eager to get going there. So we've got one more strip after this. Then back up the hill. That bale is going to roll the other way? Yes, it's going to roll the other way. Oh. back up and pick up that grass, it's a fair bit to leave behind. Right, we want to try and make sure that we don't have um, any grass sitting in the baler afterwards because the next lot of bales we're going to get are going to be hay bales, we're not going to do oliver silage bales again, the next lot will be definitely we'll try and go for hay bales. By the time we finish this run, let's have a look how much is left. Might be enough there to get another another bale. Maybe let's yeah, there should be. It's like it's a 
big strip. Actually, there's two strips there, so yeah, there should be enough to get another bale or two, maybe. I think this will go pretty close. 90. Yep, that'll do. I'm not going to risk it to get another one. That'll do, I think. Um, come in here and go to... Where's our stats page? That's not stats, this is it. Um, Created bales, 19 bales. There we go, more than I thought. Right, let's drop this guy off. Let's fold the baler back up. We can put him away. Let's have a look at our animals too while we're here. Everything seems pretty good, so we'll let them go. We can um, check on them again tomorrow. Give them a bit more total mix ration than that if we need to. Shut this guy down. Let's um, so let's run home. Let's take our truck back home. Pure laziness. We shouldn't have to drive. The truck is probably something we don't really need. There's a, two bales sitting down here. So we go and have a look at them. It'll tell us 46 hours to go. So let's sleep for a good 12 hours. That'll be till 7:30 in the morning. We're losing about what's that? 12, 13, 40, 1500, 1500 a day. So it's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, all right, we go over and have another look. 34 hours to go, so still a fair way. Um, what do they need? They need some straw and cleanliness. Um, as far as cleanliness goes, I know I've told you guys this before, because of the way that I've um, moved everything, sort of just have to paint across the front here, which will remove all the dirty grass, all the stuff left behind, which is should be silage anyway, so we could probably use that. If we can pick it up, I'll just need to lower the ground a little bit, I think. So we've got a big pile of manure there. Let's go and check on our field, see how this guy's going. Still growing, still only 17%. There's a good chance that that's not going to be ready to um, harvest. A very very high chance. So let's bump up the speed. Might as well go and grab this guy. So here comes sunlight. So sunlight's taking a fair while. Like 8:30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Whereas it's usually 7 o'clock, you know, summertime and that sort of stuff. Still, all the trees didn't brown in. Um, Spring, spring, autumn. Oh, no, I can't remember which one it is now. Uh, oh, don't have a bale left. We we'll have to go and get one. Uh, let's drop you off. Bale spike in there. Let's go grab another oops, another straw bale. Come back. We can throw a straw bale at them. Um, I'm also grab our total mix ration on the here. Kill two birds with one stone. Still not sure why it's on its side. Probably get that bale behind us funny. So let's um let's throw this bale into there. Again, let's give some more straw and give them some more feed as well. We still have 13,000 litres of total mixed rations. We've got plenty to get them through uh, winter and stuff. So let's throw this guy to there. Straw, mixed ration. Two birds of one stone, as I said. Beautiful. Let's um, 
drop you down again. Drop that down. So let's have a look. I don't know if I need to. Is that? No, that's the full fertilization state. I thought I might have had to spray that again. I've sprayed it with weeds though. There's oh, some more weeds coming back. I need to um, spray for weeds again. So this bale spike here pretty much is useless to us now. So we have the other one. Back and back. Okay, we'll drop him off. He should be under cover, so he should be alright. As far as not getting snow in there. Um, Drop this tractor off. I'm going to change the wheels on the other tractor to care wheels. And we'll be able to come back to spray. Spray for weeds. Let's quickly check um, the timer. Yeah, we're pretty close. Close on the timer. Um, got plenty of good fertilizer in this thing. I tried to dump it off here yesterday, I wouldn't, but I keep saying there's no space to unload, which is really weird. There's nothing even there. There we go. I don't know what, let's we dump it off there. It's coming to here, we'll go to customize. Narrow ties. There we go. Run back up to quickly spray for weeds. Uh, what I'll also do is push this guy over to where I wanted to go. I don't know why it won't. Yeah, I don't know why it won't allow me to unload it there. It's really weird. Alright, so how are we going with weeds? A little bit 24, a little bit in 25. It's actually costing us money. It's meant to be getting it from the thing container. Let's start to open this guy up. It's hard to see where they are. I think that's a bit there. that little bit there back to field 25 I think I did spray the whole field with weed spray anyway beforehand so it should have prevented a lot of these weeds but obviously hasn't field 23 is full of weeds I wonder what sort of jobs are going though just a lot of fertilizing and baling and stuff like that could be doing a whole lot of these fertilizing jobs bring you a little bit of extra cash but Don't really want to be wasting too much time, I suppose. Right, let's slow right down. Let's turn our lights off. We can see what we're doing now. Good. Drop this guy off. Shut you down. Jump in our truck. We'll head home. We'll sleep for the night. Come back. We'll be midwinter, and um, I guess we'll see. How things are sort of progressing. Another 12 hours. A little bit more money. Go on. Um, I think, from what that icon is telling me there, it might be saying that there's a little bit of frost. Um, like it's hurting the crops. So, let's go and have a look. Let's see if there's any dramas with our field at the moment. Still looks pretty good. Seventy percent. Zero percent water, so it's probably uh where are we? Canola here. It's young. Very little drought resistance but high frost resistance. Um I don't know how we're gonna go 
As far as growth goes, I can't see. That stage two is at stage three growth. I think. Can't really see. I think that's stage three growth. Or stage two. Probably stage two. So I don't. I really don't think that's going to grow. Honestly, don't. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just keep skipping through time, and um, I guess if we get a harvest before the end of winter, um, I'll bring you guys back. If not, we might come back um, after winter's finished, or we can start to seed again for the next season, for the next year, and um, go from there. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.